Intersex is a series of physical traits, gonadal, chromosomal, hormonal, that are atypical for male and female. When I was a baby, at first the nurse uh, wrote that I had ambiguous genitalia. Some kind of mental health person wrote that the child has been assigned as a girl and shall be raised and function as such. My intersex traits presented themselves when I was around the age that a typical female <laughs> goes through puberty. I didn't get my period. When I was 12, I looked at me in the mirror and I didn't see any muscles. I saw big breasts, big hips, and I was a very feminine boy. And through a blood test, I learned that I had XY chromosomes. I have additional chromosome. So my doctor, she told me that it will be better if we can two surgeries, one for your breast and for my testicles. For me, I had undescended testes. So I was castrated and I still live with the effects of that castration today as an adult. And I think this is why we fight because what happened to me doesn't need to happen to anyone. There is commonality between intersex and the queer community. We all live with stigma. Intersex and trans often get conflated. Trans people have to fight for gender affirming surgeries that they want, and intersex people get gender affirming surgeries that they don't want. The queer community has really given intersex people a platform to share our stories. Our main campaign is to end intersex surgery, especially these surgeries that are done on the bodies of intersex infants and children. The surgeries happen without the consent of the babies, and oftentimes the consent is not fully informed with the parents. Medical community sometimes they don't have a lot or enough information about intersex people. They try to use knowledge from old books. We live in a very rigid society around male and female and masculine and feminine. That's what doctors are doing. They're like imposing the binary of male and female on children. A lot of intersex people struggle with shame, shame that was placed on them by the medical community, shame that was placed on them by doctors. In Russia, intersex people describe as a people with disabilities. For a long time, I felt that I'm mystic of nature and I shouldn't exist. We need more representation. We need more people fighting for intersex awareness. When I met with another intersex person and activist, and I knew that we are not mystics of the nature, we are beauty of the nature, we are variation of human beings, and it's wonderful. There is so much beauty in being intersex. There's so much resilience in being intersex. We as a society have a lot to learn from intersex people, from trans people, because these communities are showing us that there is so much more to being man and woman.